Um, in this series of videos, uh, we're looking at the AQA GCSE Computer Science uh, Comp 1 uh, practical programming project, so the controlled assessment. Um, and we're focusing on uh, the first section of your report, which is uh, the design section, and 1.1, which is the analysis of the user needs. Um, so what we're trying to address with this is uh, this part of the syllabus. So we're looking at how you can provide an explanation of what the problem is and what the solution should be capable of in terms of the needs of the user and their stated objectives. So what the mark scheme says is that there needs to be evidence showing a thorough understanding of what the problem involves with reference to all or almost all of the user needs. So you will be given a brief that um, describes a certain project that you're required to program a solution for. Uh, so I'm just going to use an example of noughts and crosses. So I've just taken a kind of uh, blurb about what's, what noughts and crosses is from um, a Wikipedia article. Uh, now we're going to have a look at um, kind of breaking this down into an analysis of the user needs. So uh, the user needs, sorry. So the way I think you should go about this is just a series of kind of um, bullet points or sections that identify both the needs of the user and what the program is going to be required to do in order to meet those needs. So a list of bullet points. So if we think about uh, noughts and crosses, what's it all about? So the user needs to be able to um, select a square on the grid to um, place their cross. And this implementation is going to be a, um, uh, a kind of one player version where the player uh, plays against the computer. So the program is required to uh, find an empty square for the computer to place its uh, naught. Um, what else is the user able to do? The user needs to be able to see uh, the grid at various points in the game. Uh, the user needs to be able to um, see when, when the game has ended. The user needs to be able to um, uh, see a message that uh, explains whether or not they have won the game. Uh, so now let's think about some of the more of the requirements of what the program needs to do. So um, store the current board as data in the game display the board to the user, uh, allow the user to select a square on the grid to place their X. Um, so part of this is kind of validation. The program must make sure, uh, make sure the user has not selected a uh, non-blank square. So for example, uh, looking at the diagram, so if on the next go, the user tries to uh, again select this top right hand um, square on the grid, the program needs to be able to display a message. Um, so if they do this, uh, the program will need to display a message and allow the user to reselect. So what are some other kind of things that uh, the program must do? So it must be able to detect a win. So detect, detect a win. And in some circumstances, detect a draw. So the program is required to detect a win. So to do this, what it needs to be able to do is um, uh, check if a row contains all of the same character. So when I talk about character, I mean X or, uh, sorry, the cross or the naught. Uh, check if a column contains all of the same character. Um, and also the other way you can win in noughts and crosses is check if a diagonal contains all of the same character. So now you need to think about how can a um, program a computer program detect in a game of noughts and crosses that the game is over and neither player has won, so the computer has not won and the player has not won. 
So it needs to be able to work out whether the game has been a draw. So this only happens, if you think about it, um, check if every square is, has been filled. And then we start kind of using these terms. So using a, a Boolean operator here. So we're looking at and uh, neither player nor computer has won the game. See above. So everything about it. So in a game of noughts and crosses, the user needs to be able to select a square on the grid to place their cross, see the grid at various points in the game, see when the game has ended. Uh, let's have a look. So something else they need to be able to do is see where the computer has played their uh, zero. Uh, let's have a look. Select a square on the grid to place their X. Um, be informed. Be informed if they have selected an invalid square. Um, and be allowed to re-enter. So another thing you need to consider is um, make sure the user has not selected a non-blank square. Another thing they would need, the program would need to do is make sure the user has not selected um, an out of range square. So when you think about this in more detail, uh, most um, kind of command line interface, uh, inter, in, uh, sorry, command line interface implementations of a game like Noughts and Crosses, they require, uh, first of all, they display the board um, sort of like this. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then in order to choose, sorry, let me just put this on the next page. In order to, uh, for, the, for the player to decide they want to play in the top left-hand corner, for example, they would need to input. So if the program says choose a square, the player would input the coordinates that refer to a place on the grid. So for example, one, one, uh, the bottom right-hand corner. So that would be the top left. Um, the bottom left hand corner would be three, three, bottom left. So the program also needs to be able to detect if the, the, the player has um, attempted to place their cross in an out of range square. So for example, four, four would be invalid or something completely erroneous like minus 77, 100, obviously uh, can't cause the program to crash. So we're already thinking about how to create a robust program. So a user needs analysis ideally should uh, be able to, first of all, break down uh, the problem into a series of steps that refer to what the user needs to be able to do in terms of how the program outputs the data to the user and how the, the user is able to input the data into the program. And then also what's happening kind of behind the scenes, how the data needs to be processed um in what order in what sequence and kind of touching on some of the general programming um uh general programming kind of constructs that will be used to represent the game so for example one last thing i'm going to add in so store the current board as data in the game and to do this we would use a uh using a 2d array so this is what's expected of you. And if you can cover all the different parts of the problem and what the problem involves and uh, make reference to all or almost all of the user's needs. Oops, sorry, I forgot to switch. So uh, what all of what the problem involves and all or almost all of what the user's needs. And then you should be on track to, uh, so should be on track to getting three out of three marks for that strand.